Hi, it's Katrina. From Barbie accessories to human fingers, here are 10 of the weirdest things found inside animals. Number 10. Rubber Ducks Nong Aom, a pet parent who lives in Pattaya, Thailand, rushed her two-year-old American bulldog named Devil into emergency care after he started retching. Nong noticed that most of the rubber ducks she had recently purchased as decorations were missing and developed the sneaking suspicion that Devil had eaten them. Before they walked out the door, the dog coughed up a chewed rubber duck and vomited five more. That'll do it. An x-ray showed that Devil had devoured 32 rubber ducks, and staff immediately performed emergency surgery. For more than an hour, they removed the rubber ducks from the canine's stomach one by one. Devil woke up from anesthesia feeling back to his old self, and excitedly ventured out into the waiting room to reunite with his guardian. Normally, my dog will not eat everything. He knows what's edible and what's not, Nong Aum told the Daily Mail, adding, it's very lucky I found him and I live so close to the vets where he might not have survived. Well, with a name like Devil, he's bound to get into some trouble. The vet who removed the ducks from Devil's stomach is no stranger to taking rubber toys out of animals' stomachs, but this was the first time she removed so many of them. It was unbelievable, she said, pointing out that rubber toys can be very dangerous to dogs, and that pet parents must remember to keep a close eye on their canine companions to make sure they don't eat them. Number 9. A Belly Full of Rocks in 2014, a Plano, Texas resident noticed his pet frog Kermit eating the ornamental rocks that lined the bottom of his cage. The concerned pet parent's suspicions proved true when he took Kermit to the vet and an x-ray revealed that the amphibian's stomach was chock full of rocks. Veterinarians surgically removed the stones from Kermit's stomach and he fully recovered. Meanwhile, his owner removed the remaining rocks from his habitat. Paws and Claws Animal Hospital, where Kermit received treatment, won first prize in the 2014 They Ate What? contest, an annual competition that invites veterinarians from around the United States to submit x-rays of the strangest things they found inside animals. And believe me, there's a lot, but the rocks must have impressed them. Number 8. An Entire Deer Alabama resident Mandy Stokes nabbed the world record for the largest alligator ever hunted in 2014 when she shot and killed a 15.75-foot, 1,011.5-pound gator with her family's help. Taxidermist Ken Owens was tasked with preparing the reptile's carcass for display. He was incredibly surprised when he cut into the massive alligator and found a fully intact three-year-old doe that the animal had eaten whole. I always thought that once an alligator killed something, that it ate a piece at a time, Owens told AL.com, adding, I can't imagine how it got a hold of that adult deer and ate it in one piece like that. It's unbelievable. Mature does can weigh as much as 100 pounds in Alabama, making the discovery shocking indeed. Moreover, deer are not a typical component of an alligator's diet, even though past studies have indicated that larger specimens are perfectly capable of doing so. Usually, alligators feed on smaller mammals, such as raccoons and muskrats, and they also eat fruits and vegetables. In addition to discovering the deer's remains, Owens found greenery, squirrels, bird bones, and evidence that the gator may even have eaten a cow. Number 7. A Barbie Banana A woman in Missouri noticed that her granddaughter's bearded dragon, named Dragon, wasn't eating. So she took him to local veterinarian Andrew Rambo at the Gladstone Animal Clinic. Rambo couldn't figure out with the naked eye what was wrong with the friendly reptile, so he recommended an x-ray, which seemed like an extreme measure to the grandmother at first. X-rays are expensive. But knowing how much her granddaughter loved Dragon, she agreed to the procedure. The x-ray revealed a banana-shaped item inside Dragon's body, which had veterinary staff very confused. They tried figuring out what it was and wondered if he had swallowed a candy banana. Rambo surgically removed the object, which was smaller than a nickel, and looked very much like a tiny banana, but was definitely not a piece of candy. That's where Barbie's banana went, the client's granddaughter said. As it turns out, Dragon ventured into her Barbie playhouse fairly regularly. At some point, he decided to munch on the fake food. Rambo pointed out that the situation could have been worse, stating it could have been Barbie's shoe. The reptile was saved, and Dragon continued to enjoy his playhouse, with fewer small objects in sight. Number 6. Shish Kebab Marley, a German short-haired pointer, is one of those dogs who never fully outgrows their mischievous puppy phase. 
Marley went to the vet pretty often for eating weird stuff. I quit encouraging his owner that he would grow out of it when he recently turned six. Gulf Breeze, Florida-based veterinarian Tim Gossman, who treated the dog, wrote in his 2014 They Ate What? contest entry. One day, Marley's guardian discovered that the two shish kebab skewers she'd made for dinner were missing. She found him under her bed with one skewer on the floor and the other nowhere to be seen. Assuming the sneaky canine had eaten the vanished skewer, Marley's owner took him to the vet. Even Dr. Gossman, who was used to Marley's antics by then, didn't think it was possible that he had eaten an entire shish kebab skewer. Lo and behold, an x-ray revealed this to be the case. The skewer was safely removed from the dog's stomach, and as Gossman put it, Marley was soon out the door and on to his next adventure. One dog, a one-year-old Siberian husky named Jax, was less fortunate than Marley when he swallowed a six-inch wooden kebab skewer at his family's Minnesota home in 2010. Jack's owners were surprised that he had managed to eat the skewer, but they mistakenly assumed that it would uneventfully pass through his digestive system and out the other end. A few days later, Jack's pained cries prompted his guardians to take him to the vet. But nothing alarming appeared on an x-ray, and the vet sent Jax home, assuming the dog was simply sick and dehydrated. When the dog's agonizing screams continued, his family knew something was seriously wrong. They took him to two more vets, each of whom performed an x-ray and found nothing visibly wrong with Jax. Remember, the shish kebab this time was made of wood. Finally, a vet decided to do exploratory surgery, and it's a good thing he did. The shish kebab skewer had pierced the canine's large intestine, and he was lucky that it did not cause more serious damage or cause the organ to leak fluid. Jax was eating just two hours after surgery, and his grateful owners vowed to never leave shish kebab skewers within his reach ever again. Number 5. A Human Finger In mid-2012, Idaho resident Hans Galassi lost four fingers in a freak wakeboarding accident on a remote lake in the northern part of the state. He spent the next few months in physical therapy and rehabilitation, learning how to live without the fingers. Then, in September of that year, fishermen Calvin Nolan and Mark Blackstone caught some trout. When they cut one open, they were pretty shocked to find a human finger inside. The quick-thinking angler put the appendage in a freezer and contacted the Bonner County Sheriff's Department. Detectives fingerprinted it and traced it back to Galassi. The lake is cold and deep, so it was in remarkably good shape, Detective Gary Johnston told CNN. Johnston called Galassi and offered his finger back to him, and the man politely declined at first. The sheriff's office stored it in a freezer in case Galassi had a change of heart, and as it turns out, he did have some second thoughts and called his doctor to see if the finger could be reattached. It's unclear what the outcome of Galassi's inquiry was, but he approached the discovery with humor either way, stating, I had joked with friends previously that my fingers were fish food now, and so it just played in line with what I was expecting. You may be surprised to learn that this wasn't the first time someone found a human finger inside of a fish. In 1991, a man named Robert Lindsay dove into the water at the Flaming Gorge Reservoir in Wyoming to try saving his friend's young daughter who had fallen in. Instead, a boat propeller chopped off three of his fingers, and while two were recovered and reattached, Lindsay's thumb remained missing. A fisherman found the thumb over six months later while fishing in the Green River nearby, and the local coroner traced it back to Lindsay, who jokingly told the media, I'll probably just put it on a shelf to show people. I'll probably keep it in a jar. These people have a really good sense of humor. Number 4. A Live Bomb while gutting a three-foot-long squid for a customer at his fish market in Guangdong, China in early 2013, a man known only as Mr. Huang discovered a live bomb in the animal's stomach. He immediately called the police and reported the 8-inch explosive. Officers took the bomb away and detonated it in a controlled explosion. Authorities did not disclose the bomb's age or origin, but speculated that it may have been dropped from a fighter plane and washed into the squid's habitat, where the creatures normally feed on small fish and prawns. Perhaps he thought the bomb was his favorite food and gulped it down, Mr. Huang speculated in an interview with the Guangzhou Daily Newspaper, adding he certainly had a big belly when he was caught. Officials use the incident as an opportunity to remind people to call the police if they discover anything inside of a fish that might be an unexploded bomb. Because, well, you never know, it could happen again. Number 3. Live Turtles The YouTube channel Wilderness Life is dedicated to making videos about surviving in nature, with a special focus on primitive cooking. They have a warning that they have graphic videos that might be upsetting to some people because they are all about hunting and cooking animals that they find and hunt in the forest. 
In September 2019, the channel uploaded a video showing two young men hunting a small crocodile in the jungle. One of them pinned the reptile to the ground with a large stick, while the other stepped on the animal's head and tied its snout shut. The footage shows the pair cutting the crocodile open to get it ready to eat and discovering three live turtles in its stomach. The question is whether these turtles were really found alive in there, and if so, how long they can last inside a croc's stomach without dying. They remove the turtles before the video shifts to the next scene, which shows the men cooking various parts of the crocodile over an open fire. The problem is that they don't actually show the turtles coming out, so many people in the comments said that the guys shifted the camera away momentarily and then inserted the turtles into the partially butchered animal to make it look as if the crocodile had eaten them. While it's unknown what actually happened, the video has nonetheless captured people's attention, garnering nearly 52 million views since it was first posted. Number 2. A Badge Fisherman Arnold Constantino made the catch of his life one morning in April 2017 when he netted an enormous grouper fish off the Philippine coast. Measuring 7 feet long and weighing over 441 pounds, it's likely the largest such fish ever caught in the region. It was certainly the largest grouper Constantino ever caught, as his catches typically weighed no more than 220 pounds. Eager to cash in on the gargantuan fish, Constantino immediately hauled it to a local fish market, where workers sliced it open to check it for sale. While doing so, they found a gold security guard's badge inside the fish's stomach. Some locals erupted into a panic, assuming that the grouper had eaten a human, while others simply figured that it had swallowed the badge, perhaps mistaking it as food. Nobody knows why there was a badge inside, Constantino said. It caused some panic. Did it attack somebody or swallow someone missing at sea? We are not sure. Unfortunately, the fear that the fish had victimized a person devalued the creature, Constantino said, stating selling the fish was harder when traders thought it might have eaten a human. I had to take a lower price. Number 1. Beach Towel Monty the Python, get it, was hanging out with his family in the yard when they noticed that he was acting strangely. Daniel from Australia had had Monty for over 16 years, and he looked bigger than usual. Quickly, the family noticed that a towel which was laid on the ground wasn't there anymore. The snake had somehow managed to swallow an entire beach towel. Monty was quickly taken to the animal hospital for treatment. It was a good thing the snake's family acted so quickly, as without the procedure that removed the beach towel, Monty surely would have died. After an endoscope was placed inside the snake's gastrointestinal tract, the doctors were able to safely remove the towel by yanking it out bit by bit like some creepy magician's endless scarf trick. The procedure was successful and Monty was reunited with his family. Hopefully he won't be eating anything else he's not supposed to. Thanks for watching! Has your pet ever eaten anything they weren't supposed to? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!